in 2023 fakes are almost indistinguishable from the real products. So today we are going to compare a real Apple Watch with a fake one. But before we begin don't forget to subscribe to Future Tech to stay up to date on tech. First up let's see how the box of this fake watch looks. To be clear I have owned this watch for more a year now and had unboxed it already. I have mixed opinion on this the fake one doesn't have a original looking box. An Apple Watch box doesn't look like this. However I can clearly see for which theme they are going. This is white, simplistic just like the boxes we see with all Apple products. But the watch looks very similar to the real one. You can say this looks good from a distance but once you come closer you can see the differences between the watches. The first thing you would notice is that there is a button missing in the fake one. There is no side button in the fake Apple Watch which you use to open the quick control tab in Watch OS 10 and all the apps you have opened up in the previous Watch OS 9. Also the color looks a bit more lighter in the real one in the fake one it's very dark. But the fake one does feel very good in the hand. But the bottom of the watch looks very different from the real one but still when you wear the watch it's not going to matter much. However one significant difference I want is these circles here. These are for charging they have given as this charger which doesn't look realistic at all. This charger magnetically connects to these circles. Also the band release button is also missing which means you just have to slide the band across to remove it. This also makes the fake one have a less secured band and I have also seen the band to wobble a bit. Also by the way the strap in this fake watch is not the one it came with. It came with a very generic black strap and you can use Apple Watch straps in the fake one also. But this blue strap is a third party strap for the Apple Watch. The only physical button in this fake watch is the digital crown which on scrolling doesn't feel like the digital crown but like a scroll wheel in a mouse. You can even hear the sound coming from it. The digital crown in the real Apple Watch feels a bit bigger and easy to reach and scroll. Overall the design of the fake Apple Watch look good from distance but gets progressively worse as you get close to it. The software in these watches as similar they look have massive differences to it. The real Apple Watches is just perfect all the apps look great. The real one has got great polish to its software which is expected because Apple puts a lot of effort in it. Meanwhile the fake watch just doesn't feel finished or polished. The fake one is trying to replicate an older version of watchOS you can clearly see from the app interfaces. But still this watch lacks a lot of Apple ecosystem features and even many apps. Also don't forget the lack of the app store in this watch. Also the fake watch's buttons are not working as it is supposed to for example here you can see how the fake watch returned to the lock screen when I pressed the digital crown. Meanwhile in the real one it returns back to all my apps. And by the way the way you can't set a password in this fake watch in the lock screen. The fake watch has 7 wallpapers which look similar to real watches wallpaper also in the fake watch there is no proper way to create wallpapers. In the real watch you a ton of nice looking wallpapers with customizable complication also you have some really nice animations. The software in the fake watch does not even tell the battery percentage it just says whether your watch is at 0%, 25%, 50%, 75% or 100% it can't say your precise battery percentage. Also the real Apple watch feels very fast quick and responsive. Meanwhile the fake watch feels kind of sluggish and unresponsive at times and it lags quite a lot. Now let's see the difference between the sensors in this watch. The fake one seems to have lights rather than sensors. The fake watch seems to tell wrong heartbeats and keeps on showing the heartbeat even when I remove the watch. Same story with the temperature sensor it shows a random temperature which is wrong. 
here you can see it clearly as an ice should not be that hot. Also the oxygen level sensor is completely fake. It is just showing wrong oxygen levels as you can see here. The ECG despite having to open the app in your phone also is fake. The real watch has got very accurate sensors and as you may know that the Apple watch has also saved many lives. Now let's see how well this watch tracks my exercises. First up there is no activity app in the fake watch it just has the exercise app. In the exercise app itself the number of exercise options are low in the fake watch. I just did the soccer workout in both the watches and while the real watch is super impressive. Not only does the real Apple watch record my heart rate during the workout but also my post-workout heart rate. So I did the workout for 5 minutes as you can see in the real watch but for some reason in the fake watch it just shows for minutes and 14 seconds which is inaccurate. It also says my heart rate is 92 which is inaccurate and the real watch says my heart rate average was 135 beat per minute. But the biggest difference come in the total kilocalories the real watch says 44 kilocalories meanwhile the fake watch only says 10 kilocalories. It's fair to say the fake watch is really bad as a fitness tracker. Now what's my conclusion about this comparison let's be honest you already know that the real watch will win even before you clicked on this video. But is this fake watch worth to buy? My honest answer is no. I have owned this watch for more than a year now I barely wore it and it just feels a hassle for me to use. But at the end of the video I just have to appreciate how good of an watch the real eye watch is. Anyways if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.